Oh, hey guys, Hokey for Life here with some Iron Assault. We're starting in 1936, though. So. And we're going to. Well, we're going for a while. Of course, I made a country called My Monarch because, well, I'm kind of just going to be watching everyone else go crazy. More specifically, I'm going to watch the Germans versus the Russians because this war decides what happens throughout the whole game. Of course, it's the minor, the smaller Italian. Um, Austrian war, which is a 50-50 war. Austria wins it most time, but every once in a while, Italy will pull it off. There's gonna be a bunch of random wars that pop up, though. Of course, America's little race over here. And then you got big ass Japan. Oh, Germany's pushing. Germany's destroying Russia. Now, let's see if the Nordic versus, um, the Central Powers War happens this time. Of course, these, um, these these central powers aren't in war versus Russia. It's literally just Germany versus Russia one on one. And from my test, I'm not sure he's gonna win. My test this was a very fifty fifty thing. And as you can see, Austria took Switzerland off of Italy. Even though they're at war with Lichtenstein, so I don't know why they just annex them. And then, don't just annex them, and then enter Italy, because in my test run, they killed Italy pretty easily. And in my, in my other test run, Italy kicked their ass, and of course, as we see here, oh, yeah, as we see here. Austria is kicking them. And I mean kicking them. Like France? No. But you see, Austria is just kicking Italy around right now. Let's see if Italy can hold Austria back though out of the mainland. Ooh, that's gonna be a good video later to watch. We're in 1938 already. Of course, my monarchy, my cute little monarchy out here in the Hawaiian Islands. Gotta go see. <laughs> see, we're already 50 50. So, once I'm done with that, I plan on probably going around Spain, hopefully ending up in Africa. If I don't end up in Africa, then probably gonna try and see if I can take the Arabian states and then hop over into Africa, take out a lot of this, then go after the Ottomans, take them out. And once I take out the Ottomans, but yeah, I'm gonna watch what's going on between Oh, Germany's already took in Moscow. That's bad for Russia. That is bad. Like, that's the one thing you don't want to let Germany do, is take Moscow. Like, you, you, you may have just lost the war by giving up Moscow. Now, this is a German puppet state here, and this is a German ally. This is a German ally, and this is a German puppet state. So, yeah. Oh, Germany just cut off the Caucasus, which is something they couldn't do in real World War II. But they did it pretty quickly. Oh, they're still going. Oh, God. Oh, no, Russia. Oh, no. 
Germany. Now, Germany kicked out. Oh my gosh. Austria keeps pushing and then Italy keeps kicking them out. All Austria needs to do, though, is just take Rome. But, wait a minute. I'm pretty sure, like, Austria's biggest armies were just sent in. And they just got their asses kicked. Wait, Austria don't have any cities, so they can't rebuild armies. Uh oh. I think Austria just died. And then a massive ass Ottoman Empire down here. But Italy. Can Italy win this? And of course, you got this massive German shield. It looks like trying to pet. Protect the empire of Uzbekistan. Nope, they're just they're just going in. Stalingrad, though, I think that's what they forgot. I think Stalingrad could be a really good keep for Russia. Even though Germany took Moscow and can just build a massive ass tank army and come down here and just end you. It's a good try. It's a good try. I'm gonna get my headphones on actually. One sec, let me plug them in. Alright, here we are. I think Germany may win. Eventually, I won't want to do one of these with one of my friends. Just invite them on to... Oh, but Russia's fighting back. Russia's, Russia's pushing them back. Russia just connected back to Stalingrad. So now... Oh, no, but they just got pushed back out of the Stalingrad area. Will Germany get Stalingrad, though? There's probably a massive-ass battle going down near Stalingrad. India declared war on Yemen. Oh, that 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 actually makes a little sense. They're kind of close, old British colonies before the British Empire completely exploded like a nuclear bomb hit it. God, I need to turn off Discord notifications while I'm recording. It gets annoying. But. But we learned something that turn. Russia can fight back. That's something Russia can do. Hey, oh. Maybe Russia built that, but Russia had a big city out here last time in my test run. They had like they had one of these out there. And who surrendered? Oh, Yemen just fell and oh Stalingrad fell, it's over. Russia lost. Russia lost. Russia doesn't have any cities left. They just lost. They just lost. Once all their armies die, it's over. They won't have any more cities. They're gonna have to try and get one up quick. Like, ASAP. They have the resources to do it, but I'm not sure they want to resort to it. Well, actually, Germany's kinda already on the border where they would build that city. <laughs> This is where they would build it if they built it anywhere. And of course, Germany's like one tile away. But Germany needs to get this, this, and this because these borders are getting ugly as frick. Like, ugly. Let's see how Japan's doing. Japan's just being Japan. See. Now Russia still got this. Nope, probably not anymore. Germany's got Russia right where they want Russia. Now all they gotta do is just finish off the Russians. But Germany also can now get reinforcements from Stalingrad. I'm not sure. Why St. Petersburg isn't a big city, though? Wait, the English monarchy versus... Are they trying to rebuild the British Empire? 
You know Scotland will just whip you in well, Ireland too. Plus, you know there's a giant ass North American, Irish, and Uzbekistan alliance, right? We gotta be careful in this world because, like, plus the Mongol Empire, which I haven't even noticed, well mentioned yet, the new Mongol Empire, a fucking United China back in 1944. Uh, well, yeah, now dead Russia. Yeah, Russia's done. Russia is done. Russia was actually pushing into Germany in my test run, but they ain't doing that here. Like, but why can't Germany just walk through Ukraine since they own Ukraine? Why can't they just walk through Ukraine and take out Russia? How are you going to get there? Japan, what's the logic? You don't have planes. In, you know that. You can't kamikaze your way over there and just drive a plane and then just crash into fucking Armenia. Armenia. Egg. Oh no. That's the thing I was trying to prevent. Damn, a new British Empire. That's the one thing I didn't want in this series. Kind of disappointed. This is like a once or twice a weekly series, by the way. <gasps> Oh, Germany just cut Russia off again. This whole area is encircled. Just, just take it. Just take it. This area is encircled too, but Germany doesn't know how to get there, so. Well, Germany could easily walk through their fucking puppet state and just go down here and wreck Crimea, but they, they, they're too dumb to do that. This is two times speed, and it's still... <laughs> Episode 1, I think I should title this Russia versus Germany this episode. There'll be like, probably like a year or two, maybe even three year time gaps in between episodes because I'll be uploading episodes and, what's that? How the fuck did you get there, Japan? This game is crazy. This game is crazy. It's cool, but it's crazy. It's crazy. It's fun, but crazy. I don't see the Franco-Indian War that happened last time happening, though. Again, a second time. This episode, this is probably going to be the end of this episode. I'm probably going to upload this one. <laughs> Germany's probably going to own most of more of Russia by the beginning of the next episode, but bye guys.